The costumes of the superheroes are a very important part, especially in a live action because there you can notice the big difference in every detail. In the comics the costumes are important, but the most important thing is the design and the colors since we can't enjoy the textures well. However, in a movie or series, we can see the textures of any costume, and this can change the level of any superhero. The Power Rangers have always used spandex, a type of fabric that is very thin and very flexible. This fabric has the benefit that the stuntman can move more easily and thus can accomplish all the acrobatics that a ranger requires. The problem with this fabric is that it makes the superhero look weak and the ranger costumes compensate for this with amazing helmets, gloves, boots, and some other details. In the new Cosmic Fury costumes, they used fake muscles to make the ranger look stronger, but the reality is that this was not such a good idea since in some moments we could see that part bending and this makes the ranger look bad. Although spandex is a material that works very well to have better mobility, the reality is that the Power Rangers need other types of materials in their costume to look better and in the world of cinema there are many materials that may not be as flexible, but they will look much better. Another thing is that the materials they use to create a costume will also define the colors since now they will have to change those bright colors and use more opaque tones. This doesn't mean that they must use dull colors, but by using different materials, then the colors change a little bit, and they don't look so bright. Because Power Rangers has always been for a children's audience, the series had to use very bright colors as this is what is used to attract the attention of children. We could even notice that in the 2017 movie, which was aimed for a more adult audience, the colors are more opaque, but at the same time they were still quite eye-catching for us adults. If a child looks at the costumes in this movie, Maybe the colors don't catch their eye as much since they don't compare to the super bright colors that Power Rangers has always had. For those who don't know about this color thing, there is something called saturation, which is a word that applies to anything and in colors it is used a lot. Saturation means when something is at its limit, and this can happen with anything in life. When you get to a place and there are a lot of people, then you can say that place is saturated and when a color is very bright, you can also say it is saturated. For the opposite effect we can use the word desaturated and this is what people understand as dull colors. Here I will show you two examples so you can notice the difference between a suit with a saturated color and another suit with a desaturated color. We can notice that the saturated suit has an unrealistic color, but it is excellent for attracting attention, especially that of children. The desaturated color is a more realistic color and is excellent for creating movies to capture the attention of adults as it gives a dark or epic style. Saturation is used depending on the mood you want to give to the character, even if this completely changes the style of the movie. For example, we can see that Captain America uses desaturated colors because he is an adult and serious character. However, Spider-Man uses saturated colors because he is a young character with a comedy personality. Even Spider-Man is the best example of what could have been the Power Rangers costumes from a long time ago since his costumes are very flexible, but still look excellent and of a very good material. We can understand that the ranger suits when the series started could have been of that material they have always had, but already in these modern times I think they can change the material and never have. We know that there are ranger teams, like for example the Beast Morphers, which have a different style of costume with different materials, but the reality is that those have been some of the worst costumes in my opinion. There are many designers who have created spectacular costumes, and we can notice that the texture of the material is very different. Some textures look metallic, which we must be careful that the rangers don't look like Iron Man again, 
but they are still amazing designs that represent the essence of the franchise very well. Obviously, these designs are still based on the old designs we already know and for this, I challenge all those designers to come up with a completely new Power Rangers team. They must create a new team with a new theme and a new style, with this they will be able to prove that they can be the creators of any new Power Rangers project. There are other materials that they have used in these designs that are very similar to the costumes of other superheroes and they are combined materials that have a lot of spectacular details. These types of suits in my opinion are the best, but we don't know if they are going to be possible in real life as they must work to be able to do all the stunts. We know that on many occasions when the stuntman can't perform the stunts because of the suit, they use CGI for these parts and if the production has a good budget, we are not really going to notice when the ranger is created with CGI. The best example was the 2017 movie where there are many parts where the rangers are created with CGI and we know there are certain moments where it's obvious, but that doesn't really matter to anyone. When the CGI is well done, no one minds if that scene is created on computer and there are many examples of this. Obviously, we always strive for perfection because we want every project to look good and to be as unobtrusive as possible that it's CGI because we lose the audience's connection. The problem with all this CGI is the price as good CGI costs a lot of money to make and this has been one of the biggest problems with Power Rangers since the beginning of the franchise. The battle moments have almost always been Sentai scenes and these scenes have always been the most expensive. Even in Cosmic Fury they also used the Sentai Zord scenes and while we're not sure if this was because of the budget, we believe that was the reason. If the new Power Rangers universe has a big budget, then it is possible that they can give us good CGI, and this means that they can also create excellent costumes for the Rangers. This is all obviously theory since, despite having a good budget, excellent CGI, and all the things in favor of creating spectacular costumes, really the most important thing is still the designs. The best example of this is still the 2017 movie as there they had a high budget and were also able to create excellent CGI, but unfortunately, the costume design is completely out of the essence of Power Rangers. The new designers for the costumes should be people who know Power Rangers very well, who make an analysis with the fans and look for good references so they can create costumes with all the essence of the franchise but at the same time with a spectacular design. Write in the comments what would be your perfect costume for a ranger, like this video and subscribe for more Power Rangers costumes.